Okay. Um, I just want to talk a little bit about dry shampoos, which pretty much means that on the fly, if your dog gets dirty um, at the end of the day, if you let them in your bed, you don't want them to track dirt and everything else into your bed, or if, you know, you let them on the furniture, if you have problems with pee stains on the coat, any of these things, a dry shampoo is handy. Now, I have to be honest, when I say that I don't use them all that often, because when you have a full coat, it is just so much easier to give them an emergency paw bath, emergency butt bath, um, to do a deep cleaning facial. Usually they just pick up so much dirt, mud, debris, it's easier to wash them. But there are cases where I like to have a dry shampoo now, you can make your own out of a little bit of water and your favorite shampoo, or you can buy a commercial product. Sometimes I use the Proline Self Rinse Plus. It's a self rinsing shampoo and a whitener. I believe it's by Chris Systems, and I believe it's some kind of formulation of their white on white shampoo. Um, so when I use this is typically when we are traveling and I'm unable to put them in the bathtub or for the dreaded butt nuggets, which pretty much means, you know, you're brushing your dog out and you lift up the tail and you find a stinky little surprise, <laughs> which by the way, you know, um, I don't know if that's the correct terminology, but we call the little surprises under the tail butt nuggets. In which case, um, oh, here we go. In which case, if it's really great, not so much for the body, um, you definitely don't want to rinse your whole dog in this, but it's good for paws. You have dirty paws at night. Uh, so, you know, pretty much what you do is you spray a little bit of the product onto the coat and you're going to rub it in. It does make suds. Okay, and you rub it in, you know, until you're confident that the issue is removed. And you take a paper towel, or in my case, a hand towel, you rinse it out, and you're all done. It depends on the level of dirtiness. What I like about the Self Rinse Plus is it removes the stinky smell from the surprises under the tail. Now, when your dog has got a belly ache and there's a large amount of stinky surprise under the tail, I just give them an emergency butt bath, put them in the bathtub with a little bit of baby shampoo or the regular shampoo, and I rinse it out that way. Some people don't like this product. Um, I've heard it has an odor. I don't smell an odor. To me, this is what's going to work best for us. Another type of dry shampoo is this Magic Foam by Chris Systems. And you shake it up and it makes a foam which I like around the facial area because you don't have to spray something on your dog or in their eyes. And you work it into the facial furnishings until you're confident that it's clean. I'm sorry, I put away my hand towel. And you take your hand towel or your paper towel and you absorb it off the coat, you brush it, you're good to go. The Magic Foam is really great because if you put any kind of product into the dog, like hairspray, which 
sometimes I will do if I'm going out and I want the top knot to stay or like I have a stick them up which makes more like a hair gel to hold the hair in place the magic foam will remove it it removes odors also around the face area you can use it on paws um, but I like it for the face because it does make the foam and I'm able to be very precise where I apply it and those are the only two dry products that I like to use on my Shih Tzu and the magic foam also comes in this um, it's almost two liters which I order everything in bulk so according to their label it eliminates odors eliminates dry itchy skin and pet dander uh, breaks down and removes hairspray it does not leave a residue it has optical brighteners so it will make the coat more vibrant it's no mess you can blow dry it out I just prefer to absorb the product with a towel and it's an instant no rinse coat cleaner <clears throat> which I just keep I have a handy trial size um, and I like to just refill this little bottle I can put it right into my purse take it with me on the go which when you have a dog in full coat you will find that you need to travel with their hair care products so I know this was a short video, um, but I don't really have too many cheats, so to speak. Um, I prefer just to bathe the dog if the mess is really not containable. So if you have any questions, feel free to let us know and have a good day.